Hi, I'm Becky Pettis. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. Today I will demonstrate a math activity. The students are going to do, graph the type of transportation, how they came to school. They're going to do a picture graph. In this activity, the children will come up and, and choose the type of transportation. They will need the picture cards, which is the uh, bicycle and the car. We also have the tennis shoes for the walkers, and we also have the bus. We also need the picture cards, as you can see here on the graph at the bottom, we have the, uh, the bus, the shoes, the bicycle, and the car. Students will come up to the graph and choose the type of transportation that they came to school today. For example, if this student rode in the bus, he will choose the bus and come and place it on the graph and he'll place it up here on the graph. Okay. Another student rode his bicycle. So he'll come up and he'll place it on the graph. Okay. Another student also rode his bicycle to school. And he'll come up and place it on the graph. Okay, after they've done this, everyone will take a look at the graph and then determine how did they come to school that day. But before we start counting, we'll ask the children, okay, let's look at the graph. Just by looking at the graph, which one is more? How many children uh, can, uh, rode the bus? Before even counting, some children would say, mmm, the bus. Why in the bus? Because it's taller. Ah, okay. Even without counting. Because they have that concept at this level. Okay, what about, what's less? Which means less. Mm, bicycles. Why? Because it's shorter. Oh, okay. Well, let's find out. By looking at our graph, how many people came to school on the bus? How many students walk with their parents to school? How many students rode their bicycles? Or how many students came in a car? Let's count to find out which is less and which is more. So let's start. Okay, let's count, let's count the bus. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's write that number down. Five. Okay, let's write five. And of course, they're counting with you. Have them count with you. And as you're counting, make sure that you're touching the, each of the type of transportation. Okay, let's go with the walkers, the students that walked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, before we go on, let's stop right here. Didn't you say that it was more? Why did you say that? Because it was taller, remember? So this is less and this is more. So see, they'll be able to see and explain to them what it is. It has, it has nothing to do with the tallness, but it has to do with the number, more or less, okay? What about in the bicycle? How many here? One, two, three, four. Four students rode their bike to school today. Okay, so as we can see, see the difference? As, as the graph here is showing, how many students rode, came in the bus, how many students walked to school, how many rode their bicycle? Let's see how many came in the car with their parents today. And we count one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. So here, now look at the difference between this one and this one. See what the students will see? Here they probably thought that this was less because it was shorter. But it's the same amount. But you can take it even a little further. You can take it further because you can compare. How many more? You just compare these two. You can take it at a higher level. How many more students walked than rode their bicycles? So there's so many questions you can do. And children get so excited when they do graphs because they think they're winning. Oh, wow, I walked to school. So they get so excited. Yes, we won, and they love to do graphs. And this is a picture graph. This represents pictures. And, and they're learning how to read the graph, and they're learning numbers, which is more and which is less. And they learn that more is a larger number and less is a smaller number. And you still continue to do this in its personal form because it has to do with them and it takes it back to home and back to school.
This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.